Hi guys, welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene and today my friends I'm bringing you a classic recipe. We are making a meatloaf, American style meatloaf. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Soft, tender, juicy, flavorful, delicious. You're not going to want to miss this episode. Now, if you have tasted my Puerto Rican version that I made last year, or a few months ago rather, you will know that that one was absolutely tasty, it was soft, it was tender and juicy. Well, this, my friend, is a different version, and I do many different kind of versions because you always have to change up. You never want to do the same meals over and over again. You know, you get kind of tired. So now let's walk through the ingredients. I'm going to leave the measurements in the description box below. So I won't give you the measurements on the video, but in the description box, you will get everything written out for you. Okay, so now let's begin. Okay guys, now let's begin. Now what I have here is my version of American Classic. And what I have here going on is one packet of Sasson. This is gonna give a nice color and some flavor. I have a packet of soup and onion mix right here. This is gonna give us tons of flavor. I have adobo. I have fresh grated um, garlic. I have steak seasoning blend. It's full of spices and herbs. It's, it's marvelous. I have some ketchup, whole milk, and three pounds of uh, ground beef. And then right here I have two whole eggs and then one Kaiser roll. Um, we're going to use the whole thing. And if you don't have a Kaiser roll, you can use at least a good six slices of regular sliced bread. And now, this is all you're going to need. Plus, I have some additional ingredients on to make a topping. We're going to make a nice um, glaze to go on top. And... That's about it. So now let's begin. Okay, guys, so let's begin. What I want to do with this bread is just break it up to little itty bitty pieces. The bread is very important in making um, a meatloaf. This is what keeps the meatloaf nice and tender and, you know, soft. I mean, you don't really taste the bread in here because it just mixes up really well. Okay, guys, so I finished cutting up my uh, bread into little bite-sized pieces, and now I'm going to put in the milk. The milk is very important in making a meatloaf because this is what's actually going to tenderize the ground meat. So we want to stir this in to make sure that everything gets drenched in the milk. So right now we're just going to put everything here first, season up the mixture here, and then the meat is what's going to be added last. So right now I'm going to do two eggs, and I'm just going to crack them in a separate bowl or a cup, so that way I don't get any um, eggshell pieces in my product. Now, so you want to mix this through. The eggs is what's going to bind everything together so I don't fall apart. A teeny bit of adobo, or you can use seasoning salt if you have, or just regular salt and pepper if you like. Then the ketchup, which I like ketchup in this because it adds a nice body. It's like a, a tangy taste. It just gives it, um, just it gives it a different taste profile. It really does complement this. I love fresh um, garlic, but you know, if you have, if you have the, um, the ground one, the powder one, you can use that. And your, my seasoning blend over here, this has tons of great seasonings. My God, it's great on anything. It doesn't have to be only steak. Um, it has onions in it, it's great on just about anything. So we're gonna use the whole thing of that, one package of that. 
I'm gonna mix this as well. And then combine for me is the Sasson blend. And then we're just gonna mix every Three pounder right here. Blend. I'm gonna be putting this in here as well. Delish. And I'm gonna use my hands for this because I wanna make sure with my clean hands the area it's covered with this goodness and you want to work fast and you want to mix well you don't want to overdo your meat so it don't become tough okay guys so after you finish mixing your mixture you're gonna need a large baking pan this is a roasting pan you're gonna need something big because I you know you have a lot of the mixture in here and you want a lot of the grease to pull away and not just pull up like all close and around it so right now I'm just gonna put in my meat mixture this is all ready to go you can season this the night before and put it in the refrigerator and it will be amazing the next day because it will have time to really sit and marinate so you could do that or you can do it you know cook it right away I'm gonna cook it right away so but if I was gonna do it tomorrow or something it would be perfect to leave it in for the next day this so will feed form your loaf quite a few people so what I like to do is I know it's gonna throw out a lot of grease around here so this is my suggestion and this is the way I always prepare my meatloaf is I place water, maybe about maybe about a cup of water. This is gonna allow it to one reduce all that fat that's just gonna be sitting in the bottom because that tends to be salty and greasy this is going to give it also extra moisture because of the vapors that are gonna produce it's gonna be like a steam bath and it's it's gonna be amazing with it this will absolutely be amazing with this. about a cup a cup and a half depending how big okay guys so we're gonna make a nice glaze to go over our meatloaf this is optional but this is absolutely delicious and it's gonna complement it perfectly I have here a cup of ketchup I have here just a half a teaspoon of um, mustard one teaspoon of granulated garlic three teaspoons which will be one third cup of brown sugar light brown sugar and some honey we're probably going to use about a tablespoon or two depending how sweet you like it so now let's begin so the mustard is going to just balance all the sweeteners out and it's really going to be very 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 tasty so we got our garlic just give it a nice stir and our brown sugar and while that's in there I'm just gonna put in my honey about a tablespoon you can taste as you go and just give it a good mix all right so, so now with our meatloaf we're just gonna spread some on top and it's going to cook with it on this is optional also but this is really tasty so we're just gonna put it on top and reserve some so when it's done we can just add a little bit more and let it just fall down wherever it wants because this is a glaze okay, my friends all. just preheat your oven on 350 and allow this to bake don't cover it for a good 50 minutes to one hour and then I'm going to show you how it looks when it gets done. So I'll see you right back. Hi guys, welcome back. Well, my meatloaf is done. I just took it out of the oven and I allowed it to sit for a good 10 minutes 
while I transfer it to a nice serving dish. You're going to want to do that. It is so juicy and irresistible. You have to give it a try. So look at my finish. Okay, guys, look at this beautiful piece of meat right here. You see all the juices just dripping now? That tells you that this is not dry. And look how it looks when we cut it. It is so tender and juicy. Look at that. Look at that. But as I cut through, let me get my thick slices. As I cut through, it is tender. More juices let out. And it's smoking to perfection. Look, I mean, it is marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Juicy. Juices render out. That's how you know this is going to be a dynamite, juicy, and very tasty. Okay, guys. The best part is the taste test. You saw how juicy it was, right? And I cut me a nice little corner piece because... I love the corners right here. Oh, can't wait to try it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It is absolutely soft, tender, full of flavor, juicy. And with that um glaze we made on top, that sweet glaze. Perfect. That I put in. Follow everything to the tea and you're going to enjoy this meatloaf thank you so much for joining me today it's always a pleasure of having you cook along with me make this give it a try let me know how you like it and um enjoy because it's absolutely delicious see you around take care don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe take care bye bye